now live from the Geico Fox Sports Radio Studio. Oh, here he is, folks. Here he is. Ben Maller. Hey, hey, what's up, ladies and germs? It's your boy, Danny, here. Now, uh, I know that my uh, my place is really dirty, but I literally just did all my uh, Amazon Christmas shopping on, uh, you know, Black Friday. So, uh, yeah, it's a freaking mess over here. It looks like there's a tornado that's gone through my place. But, hey, that's all right. We got a new mic stand. Hopefully, it sounded really good. I'd like to hear, or, you know... Uh, I'd like to hear you guys' comments on how it sounds, um, because on my end it sounds okay, but that doesn't mean, you know, it sounds okay when it goes on to YouTube. So let me know how uh, the sound is of this microphone. Uh, I was just setting it up a little bit, and I just had to redo all my uh, all my setup because I got a new microphone, I got a new keyboard, and I got a new mouse. So it's just like, might as well just, you know, take up all the... Uh, all the wires for, you know, like my webcam, my light, my two monitors, everything, and just twist time to my desk and everything, so it looks a lot more cleaner, um, but yeah, so... Uh, we're uh, we're back to react to some Amberlynn Reed now. This is day two and three of her vlogs. Um, now I did see that um, the next vlog she quits uh, keto. So um, I actually didn't know that much about keto, but I looked it up. So um, I'm a little bit more uh, well versed in the keto, but um, I guess it doesn't matter because she quits it after five days, like everything else. So um, yeah, uh, I just like to say if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe because I'm doing a uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. Um, so if you like my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're entered into the giveaway. And uh, yeah, if you uh, comment down below, uh, I'll pick a random comment when I hit a thousand subscribers on uh, you know the videos I'm uploading. So uh, yeah, um, other than that, do all the YouTube stuff and uh, follow my Twitter and check out my Patreon in the description if you want to support me. All right, let's get right into this. Hi, baby girl. Is it me? Okay, no. You like your cat tree right here? Yeah. We're taking the baby to the vet. Oh, you could tell. It's she looks, nail she looks clipping sad. time, isn't it? Oh, are you mad about it? Yeah, she. You don't I like think the she vet, knows. But they love you. Well, I mean, if you t if you say the vet, We're you're gonna know. We're for the vet technician to come out and greet us, is what they call it. But look at like fall is here, folks. I personally love the look Never heard of that before. leaves on the ground. It's just so pretty. What do they just grab the dog it's and take him inside? Just sit in your car. We just have like standard appointment. Uh, to get well, I mean, wifey's Twinkies. not in the car, nails so I guess trend. wifey's in. Twinkie's quicks on her nails are really long. And I know a lot of you say, like, oh, my God, you need to, like, cut her nails. We do. Every three weeks, we take her to the vet. Um, we just get it done professionally because Twinkie, she has a hard time. She's one of those dogs that has, like, massive anxiety over it. So it's just easier to do it like professionally but yeah her quicks are really long so like her nails are naturally long because you don't cut the quicks absolutely not but we're just waiting to go inside right now um should be so why she's still in the car minutes. wait so they come out and greet you to tell you to come inside seems like a like a waste of time effort and money Okay, you guys, so I wanted to open this with you. There's this website called Plum Paper where you can like create your own planner. And oh. I created an 18 month planner that started November 1st. Must be, I'm super must be Amber's favorite I'm website. That it came today because it's November 4th. So I'm also, gonna... this keyboard is a lot more quieter, so hopefully, you don't hear like a thump. From when I freaking hit the hit the you know the space bar. Also, you guys need to tell me like I'm very uh, expressive, you could say. So I get very loud and you know I I do all these arm flailing like shit, you know. So um, tell me uh, how the uh, how the audio is on the high highs when I get a little loud because uh, this mic is probably about a foot closer to my face, so it might take me a little bit to uh, you know get used to having it here just so you know I don't destroy your guys' eardrums so let me know it's a beautiful day to make plans yes it hey, you, you'll help me by learning my audio or you know help me learn more about my audio and then you'll also be um you know put into the giveaway so it's a win-win for everyone is. this is what the package looks like i haven't even opened it yet i'm so excited embarrassingly enough um i am super indecisive so planning this planner took me over a month until I finally truly decided on a cover because there was so many 
And it took you a month. It took you a month to decide on the planner cover. Massive. Just choose it. I know There's you're indecisive, so but come on. Covers you could choose from, and I am without a doubt so glad I chose this one. And you know what's funny about the actual cover? Um, the covers are in like sections. This was in the teacher section, just the cover, not the planner. Um, it was called Class Clown. I feel like anyone could use this cover. Like, I'm no teacher, and I'm using it. You're not a teacher, and you're using that cover? Nope, I'm calling the police on you. Nope, that's that's a Class A felony where I'm from, Amber. Look at her. Oh, my God. Okay. So, November 2022, all the way Subscribe. to April of 2024. Holy oh, man. So... I just That's a lot like, of planning. Like, so you guys can get an idea if it's something that you're interested in. So there are like goals. It's like monthly highlights. This would be really good for weight loss, but let's see if you use it for weight loss. Per month, birthdays, events, things to remember. Mini goals to help me achieve this month's goal. Um, big things happening this month. Monthly phrase to live by. Steps I can take to have a better self-care. Be I'm on my mind a lot of that like like monthly phrase to live by like that's just I don't know I'm not all that guy like oh man this you know myself, like make myself I don't know how to explain it but wow this is so nice you get to like hope I'm not a hopeful guy at all it's just I don't know it doesn't affect me all of this like it's so freaking awesome like if I read an inspirational quote it doesn't mean get me in, in, inspiration in, inspired i almost i almost embarrassed myself but i mean that's just me like you get to choose the layout if you want uh times on it or anything like that and i don't like having times i'm very much a list person i don't care what time i do something as long as i get it done you can also um like edit like things that you want to put in here so there's so many options and one of them i did is a habit tracker for each month so it looks like this you just put your habits um and then you mark off if you d did them or not you know what I'm saying? i actually there's actually an app um i can't i can't think i can't think of the name but there's an app that it's like a daily tracker that um you know if like let's say you're trying to quit smoking and uh you know you're day five not quitting smoking you you just like you know, it's like a calendar where, like, you check mark a calendar, be like, this is the fifth day where I haven't smoked. It's like that, where you just mark off, you know, it's like a daily tracker and stuff, which I did use that. Um, that is, it's really good because, like, it got to a point with, like, three months where it's just like, come on, am I am I just going to be five minutes, you know, am I, am, am I too lazy to have these five minutes to go, you know, take a walk, you know, daily just so I can, because it, it got to a point where it's like, am I really this lazy just so I don't get that X? I, I got to a point where I didn't want it to end because I got so far, you know, so... And then at the end anything of that month, can motivate you um you say you hit your goal what was the reason for your outcome uh the past month in three words wellness scale for happiness calmness health energy etc um your favorite thing you did this month act of kindness place you went thing that surprised me what can i improve on like this is just so yeah to me i wouldn't fill all that up that's like, just me though. this planner is literally perfection and then another add-on that I decided to I just add go with the flow, you know. Each month there is a shopping list section. This is Why? literally the most perfect planner I've ever I mean, seen. Yeah, I under, I understand it. It's cool, but you're really going to be bringing that that planner to, you know, to Target and get all your stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Is Wifey going to bring that to Target to go shopping? Oh, wait. You you order stuff online anyway, so it's just like mine as well. If you need it, just put it on the app and wait until you check out. And there goes something I knocked over. Fantastic. In my opinion, it's like everything that I love. It's big. It's list worthy. It's beautiful. It's everything I needed more. Okay, guys. So day two, I weighed in at I forgot what her last weight was. 95.4. And here I wanted to write it down in my little .8 pounds. poster there you go. board. It's like a miniature version of a poster board. I wanted a bigger one, but we couldn't find them. So, November 4th, 495.4. That means I was down 0.8 overnight, which means to reach my goal, 
Enough Again, you shouldn't be Walmart. you shouldn't be weighing yourself every day, but I've I've gotten past that. I've I've gotten mad at her for that oh before. I'm not mind. getting mad at her again. I have to still lose thirty nine point two pounds. So in a future video, yeah, yeah, you. She said I lost point eight pounds overnight, and yeah, you you didn't do anything to lose that weight because your weight fluctuates. So even even like you could have gained point eight pounds, and I bet you you'd have been ten times less motivated. So it's just like weighing yourself every day is just, you know, it's just, that's like, that's like, you know, a, a company trying to, you know, record their profits, but recording their profits every day instead of every quarter, you know, it's just like, yo, there's going to be fluctuations. What if one dude gets thirsty and buys 5,000 Arizonas? Does that mean Arizona's going to get 5,000? Yeah, okay, whatever. I do want to you, know, you know, you get what like I mean. Keto updates, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, etc., etc. So don't worry. You will be finding that type of content soon. All right, folks. It's time. Toy I, mini brands. I am so excited. I don't see, I don't, I don't see the... I find so I don't much see the joyness. you know the, the the joy. It's just small stuff. So all right, one. Today we have a little amusement park moment. Okay. Oh, connects. I've actually never I love seen those this in back life. in the day. I love Two. connects, but like again, why do? You... Oh my God! A little Ninja Turtle, folks. I watched Ninja Turtle when I was like actual. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Put are you, are you gonna go and display that on your shelf? Might as well put a magnifying glass right next to it for so people can see it on your shelf. Toddler years. I, I don't understand. Like I don't know. Uh, I I don't know if I'm getting is... too old and this is just like the new thing for the kids these days. But I don't know. I don't understand this. It just seems like a oh, big waste of money. Three. I, again, if the kids, if the kids, you know, go for it, that's fine. You know, but again, Amberlynn reads an adult getting, you know, like, like happy over a, a small box of a little turtle that's the size of a freaking, you know, less than her pinky. Like, I, I don't understand. What in the world? It's a little bot. The bot squad. I've never actually heard of that before, but look how cute. I think miniature things are just so adorable. I think that's like why the I don't understand why I'm like. Starting to kind of collect these, not gonna lie. And so far, I have no duplicates. Four. Oh, my ass spoke too soon. And okay, this so they're different. Well, this one's yeah. orange or red, and then this one's blue. Well, so it's not. Uh, a she duplicate. obviously doesn't know the oh God, uh, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Turtles like I do. Number five, last I think one of those is Donatello. Is, <laughs> I think. Oh my god, is this like a little camera? Here's the thing. If these all work, that would be kind of cool. But I doubt you this camera works. It does not work. Okay, okay, I can tell you 100% it does not work because on the thing, it's literally just a miniature size of the... It doesn't... Okay. Kitty Zoom I, I'm just, Duo? I'm, Oh, this is too freaking cute. Look at that tiny camera, folks. Imagine if I vlogged off of that. Uh, it doesn't work anyway, so don't so worry. So here's my collection so far. And now we can add the rest. Black. No duplicates. That's lucky. Does anyone else get too warm what? and cozy at home? So they're like, whoop, I need to put on something a little more cooler. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, so we are starting today off just straight to the point here. So we're on day three, which is November 5th. All right, so she gained 0.2 pounds, so I want to see four, what she says about it. Six, which means I have 39.4 to go to reach my goal by February 11th, which I need to put on this poster board. And as you can see, it is a different poster board. It's because I wrote day three on the other one, and then I wrote November 7th. I don't know why. And I was having massive, I don't know, I was going through a perfectionist situation type deal and I didn't want to like cross it off. This is sloppy, but there is nothing like crossed off. I just don't want anything crossed off. So I restarted it and instead of using a marker, I'm just using a pen. Like you guys care. Okay, you guys, so I want to talk a little bit about Ozempic. 
rare Amber Lynn self-awareness moment. I feel like in my live stream, I was kind of blindsided. I wanted to talk about it when I was ready. A lot of people were asking in the chat, which I understand because I stopped talking about it. And this is why live streams are kind of hard because it's like sometimes some topics I don't want to talk about. Some I'm not ready to talk about. Then ignore and them. And it's... It's different to ignore. Tell me, don't want to talk about it. Ignore them after that. Time. It's not that hard. Being asked the same question, but when it's more than that, a lot more than that, repeatedly. I okay, like it's so funny because I I don't know what the hell changed, but I remember when I first started her, like she was only doing live streams and she wasn't vlogging, and now she's only vlogging and not doing live streams. I just don't. I'm, For like an hour on end, it's kind of hard. The hell to changed. More, unfortunately, when I first started Ozempic which is something my doctor recommended to me. Um, when I went and saw my doctor, she actually had a few um, weight loss medicines that I could use. And I chose Ozempic out of like the three or four that she suggested because I had heard so many good things about Ozempic. She, you know, obviously she knows my health and my health history, all my numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And I told her, you know, I was diagnosed with gallstones almost a decade ago from rapid weight loss. I lost 89 pounds. I know those famous 89 LBs. I haven't talked about those in forever. Um, I lost in six months. Rapid weight loss is considered one to two pounds a week over several weeks. If it's happening Average. for months, rapid weight loss. Um, and I had lost... 89 pounds in six months. So I got gallstones from my rapid weight loss. You know, my gallbladder was just... Yeah, but you were also going to lose weight faster because if you're actually... Like, okay, not Amberlynn Reed in general, but, like, someone her size in general, like, exercising for you is 10 times harder and going to exert 10 times more calories than when I exercise. So it's just, like... Attack. I, I, don't, I don't really necessarily agree with that because, like, yeah, I mean... And she might have gotten gallstones from that, but like, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider rapid weight loss losing one pound a month. Wait, did she say one pound, one to two pounds a week or one, one pound a month? I don't know. What, whatever she said, I, I don't agree with. Out of this I, world. Never got bad enough for me to get surgery. And I always found it so strange that it had to reach a certain stage before you got surgery because the pain was already just tearing me apart. I think like she I said one to two a week. Forth, I couldn't stop crying. Like, that type of pain is, like, it takes away, like, functions of your brain when you're in that much pain. If you guys have had gallstone attacks and you know exactly what I'm talking about, I've never given birth. And I sadly don't get to experience that, even though it's something I truly want to experience. But people who have given birth and people who have also had gallstone attacks, they say that gallstone attacks hurt worse than birth. And I'm just like, damn. But anyways, I told my doctor, you know. Uh... Can, can you guys, uh, I, I'm not going to say anything about that because, again, I'd, I'd have no freaking basis of saying anything about childbirth or anything. But, like, I feel like a gallstone wouldn't be nearly as worse as getting, like, a cantaloupe-sized object, you know, like, pushed out of you. Again, that's just my mind thinking logically. You guys could, you know, let me know in the comments more but i mean just thinking logically it's like yeah they might be sharp or whatever but like it's literally like a cantaloupe okay because she knew about my gallstones and stuff but she was like just asking me questions she was like do you show any more signs of it like when's the last time you had an attack and it made me realize wow i actually haven't had a gallstone attack i've had maybe like one or two in the last three plus years which is crazy so she was like, well, that means they could have gotten better and et cetera, et cetera. And she was explaining how a lot of people have gallstones and they don't even know and they don't even have symptoms and stuff. She was like, let's put you on Ozempic. And if you ever feel like you have any, you know, gallbladder problems, you need to tell me and you're going to have to get off of it. And I said, okay. And she was like, have you ever had pancreas problems? And I said, unfortunately, yes. Um, it was like two years after I found out I had gallstones, I got pancreatitis. She was like, okay. That's not good either. But I, you know, explained to her, like, I haven't felt any pain. It's been years. And, you know, I was just really motivated to, you know, try another weight loss technique, weight loss tool. And I was just really motivated and determined. It was something I really 
wanted to try. She trusted that I would tell her if I had any issues and- I mean, you should. I did tell her and it was around the same time that they noticed from my CT scans that I have sludge in my gallbladder. So my doctor told me, okay, you need to stop taking those Ozempic. And I, I had a moment where I was like, um, can we just give it one more chance? Can we wait until I'm in pain one more time? Because I did not want to stop. Why? Uh, Amber, you have sludge in your gallbladder. I didn't even know if that was a thing. Okay? So I'm pretty sure that, you know, sludge in your gallbladder, gallbladder is 10 times. Okay, okay Amber. I know you really want to lose weight that much, but you have to put your health, you have, you have to think about your health over everything for once. You know, I mean, you have sludge in your gallbladder and you're thinking, ah, let's just wait because, I mean, Olympic's doing okay. You know, I, I just, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know why, Amber, he, Amber hearing the word, oh, my bad, Amber hearing the words, you have sludge in your gallbladder and she's like, oh, that can wait. I'm on Ozempic, man. I'm trying to lose I weight here. I wanted to keep increasing my dose, and I wanted to see how it would do for me, and I just wanted to get to, like, the highest dose there was. I truly didn't want to let people down. That, you know, I don't know. But I've also gotten... Oh, no, you getting off of Ozempic wouldn't be letting people down. You know, that let, you know letting us down would, you know... Starting out a keto diet for, you know, five days and then, like, quitting it. Or starting Jenny Craig and then quitting it. Or starting Weight Law Weight Watchers and then quitting it. Or starting a weight loss routine and then quitting it. I think you get the picture. Questions of people saying like, what do you mean rapid weight loss? You didn't lose rapidly. And my doctor explained to me, which you can actually look oh up boy. and Google it as well. I have never heard of the term rapid weight loss. So let's hear this. Rapid weight loss is when you lose one to two pounds or more a week for weeks on end. Okay, she said week. But... Again, one pound a week at your size is not out of the out of the picture. Okay. Now, if I was losing one pound a week, that would be different because for me for me to, you know, lose the same calories as you would, I would have to run like 10 times farther and faster, you know. And I'm not trying to, you know, be mean. I'm just trying to be real like like the energy that it takes for her to move is just, I mean, I, okay. Literally, if, if you were, if you were actually exercising, I guarantee you, you'd lose more than one pound a month. And so I, I, I don't know what the hell your nutritionist or weight loss, whatever she's talking about is talking about. Cause like a pound a month, four pounds or four pounds a month is, is not, you're saying that you're saying that losing 50 pounds a year is rapid weight loss. No, uh, no. Well, 50 to a hundred. 50, 100 is a little bit too much. Like, I would say, like, okay, if you really tried, you lost 100, 100 pounds at Amberlynn Reed size her first year, I'd be like, okay, yeah, but, like, yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. Not that. only did I do that over a decade ago when I first started having gallbladder problems, but I also did that this last year. I lost, I was, like, 106 in, like, 12 months. So, when you do the math, that is rapid weight loss. So, I don't know why people are... A hundred... No, it's not. I mean, you said one to two pounds. 106 in 12 months, that's what? Less than one pound a month, so... Constantly just... By... Like by no, by by your metric, you should be all good. Tell me that my doctor's wrong. I understand doctors aren't perfect. I or, you know, less than one pound a week. Misdiagnosed... Um, I, I don't know how the math goes, but you know how it goes. Issue, Wait. Which is quite unfortunate. 10 months, 100 pounds. That's Yeah, that's like one pound but a month. I know how I got gallstones because... Or 10 pounds a month, sorry. I so it'd be... Thing. I did lose weight rapidly. Oh, uh, yeah. And my math is... I, sorry. I It's it's a little late. My math is, also, that is a little bit more than... Triggered by yo-yo dieting. And yo-yo... Don't like listen like to me. Losing weight. Like losing, gaining, losing, gaining. And you guys know that I definitely suffer from that. But yeah, it's been so long since I've had, you know, gallbladder pain. And here I am. I was having it. And I had to tell my doctor because... I want us to have that that trust and as much as I wanted to continue Ozempic it's just like I know I need to just follow what the doctors are telling me to do at this point point. and I didn't want to tell you guys yet because you know I had to process process it myself and I was really really upset about it like genuinely I actually cried about it because I was just like damn I mean I waited till I got home and I cried about it it actually made me a little anxious I had like a little mini panic attack 
I was truly afraid to even tell you guys because so many of you weren't believing in me and you guys were placing. See, you could tell that she's all afraid about, you know, telling us, but she's not afraid about the sludge in her, her gallbladder. She's so afraid about what everyone's going to say, but yet she's not afraid about the sludge in her gallbladder. I didn't even know that was a thing. Does sludge sound like a good word to you, Amber? Does sludge sound like... I, whatever. She is, she, it's, she, you can tell the priorities just by how, like, she is so freaking scared about what we're going to say, and yet she's not freaking scared about all that stuff. I mean, do it she shows she you priorities. And all this stuff, and it's just upsetting. Like, so many people expect... It's so funny, too, because, like, it's so ironic, because she is so freaking, you know, like, afraid about her, her image and stuff and how we see her, and yet she is not putting her weight loss on top which is directly 100% how you know you, I'm not gonna say how we see her but like how we interpret her and like you know to whatever. hopefully you guys get it because I feel like I feel like a lot of the times like I know I, I'm you know rough around the edges I I don't have a filter and I speak what comes in my mind and I know that's really bad but like half the time I just feel like you know I'm just like bullying Amber but it's like I mean I'm just being real you know I'm not trying to bully her I'm just being I'm just saying what what I feel should needs needs to be said you it's know it's unfortunate that it's like my body is currently failing me without me my body is ready doing anything like it's not my fault that I have lipedema. I feel like I'm... Okay, well, don't even start about saying it's not my fault, it's not my fault. Instead of saying something... Instead of saying something isn't your fault, how about you think of something that you could have done better to help the situation, okay? And that, that will help you improve yourself 10 times better. Instead of looking at the negatives, you look at the positives that could have been done or the positives that, ha that happened. I blame myself so much, but lipedema is not a problem because I'm fat. Which is crazy because I feel like a lot of my issues um, have directly been because of my weight. That is 100% false. 100% false. And I will tell you this right now. I always thought that right as I, okay, right as I lost all the weight, all my problems would be gone. I thought I would be really happy. I thought I would, you know, destroy it in the, in the women category. I thought I'd be having girlfriends on girlfriends. I thought I'd be living the best life. Nope. Literally, the only thing that changed was the numbers on the scale. I was the same lonely, miserable piece of shit that I was before I lost the weight. And that actually made me, maybe I should, maybe I'll, uh, make a video on this because it's actually a really good video topic but i was actually more depressed once i lost the weight than i was when i was fat for a time because every because when i was fat i was fantasizing about this life that i was gonna have but then when i realized that literally nothing changed it was like the only thing that changed was the weight i'm like no one likes me anymore no one's gonna come out and be like oh hey you want to be you know you want you want to marry me it's like no you know, it's like Something literally the only thing—the only thing that changes is the, is the weight on the scale. See, and if like, you are you health at every size, you're setting you yourself up for disaster. Problems, man. If you what? think that you know, I am your weight's the only problem. Anti health at every size, and I will always be anti health at every size. And I do know that my weight plays a problem in a lot of my health problems. Also, back to the gallbladder. I did also get some comments about how you can get sludge in your gallbladder from high cholesterol. I know my doctor also told me that and my cholesterol is actually normal. Like I've never had problems with my cholesterol or anything like that. So that that's definitely not um, the thing. Like I just feel like, oh my God. I'm not going to say really anything on that. If I say anything about a cholesterol, it's just me like, you know, taking an educated guess. And so I don't know. I mean, my cholesterol, my cholesterol was pretty good when I was bigger. So like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm having to explain myself to people and I, I hope that I will get better with that. Maybe better with explaining myself and answering questions that frustrate me. I just have been seeing so many people like thinking that they know my health records and it is so weird. It is so weird. That might be one of the weirdest things about being part of this community. Like I am clearly the focal point in this community that I, I just, I don't know how to get rid of the people who just insinuate that they know my health records and that they're my doctor. And it, it, I, if you I, ignore I them, they'll go away to like either stop or just like go. Cause I just want 
love and kindness and I want me to be kind to you. So what you're saying is you want to be able to gaslight your audience with no pushback I, whatsoever. I just feel like it's not kind when I'm constantly feeling like I'm answering hate and it's, it's just time that like, I, I stand up for myself to a certain degree. Obviously, there, there's just so much drama all the time and so many lies that people say about me and things that I just find absolutely ridiculous. Like, But then there's things that are important to me and my health has become very important to me lately. And that's no. something that I'm... No. Like, if it was important... About. If if your health was important to you, you wouldn't you would get off Ozempic and realize that yeah, immunozempic might be helping. But I mean, I don't want sludge in my gallbladder. Oh, that seems like a lot about fixing and changing my bigger life. of an issue. It's so hard to do, and like so many people just have the wrong idea of me, or they're like assuming things, and people start believing the assumptions. Like that is literally what reaction channels create. Like they're creating a place for this to continue and i don't know they don't care i probably shouldn't care but i do care i, I do care like i want to be happy and right now um i'm i'm not happy. one one hard lesson I, was, I had learned is not everyone's gonna like you amber not everyone's gonna like you like i i i mean i would i would just you know back in the day like there's like this one guy that didn't like me at work and i was thinking like oh man why is this guy that's like me like who freaking cares you know, the only person that matters is you, because I mean, you're you're your own role in your in your you know Hollywood's film. Are you gonna let some 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 douchebag that has you know like like one freaking line in the movie, you know, dictate your life? No, he's I'm literally no. Who gives a shit? I'm not happy with the community that is surrounding me. I'm not, and I'm having a hard time trying to um, be myself and share what I truly want to share uh, with the people who support me, like truly, truly support the me. The people. I don't know. I'm rambling. I need to stop. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know how to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. So right now we're just kind of going with the flow. And if there's things that I feel like I need to answer, then I'm going to do it. The people who watch me and support me, love me and actually like, like me as a person, like we'll I stay around. You guys know that like, I never have any ill intent towards you guys, and I don't mean to rant all the time. Hate always comes and goes, but the people who love I you will like always be there. Clear up rumors. If that frustrates anyone, then I'm truly sorry. I just, in my heart, I feel like I have to do this right now. You know, there's just certain things that I just want to clarify or say because there has been so many rumors from years ago that I just let build up, build up, build up, and now those rumors are real to people, and it's like... If I can just nip it in the butt. How about you give, I mean, if you really care about that much, how about you give some examples and, you know, prove us wrong? I mean, you can complain about all you want, but either you can prove us wrong or ignore it. And yet you're doing neither of those. So, um, yeah. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, the different audio, which there is already a hair on my microphone, which is fantastic. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. So please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my content. You obviously made it this far. You liked it, hopefully. But, um, yeah, if you dislike the video, hit dislike, you know. It tells me uh, how you guys feel about the videos I'm putting out. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you uh, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.